Hey ladies, today I'm going to be showing you how I created this funky offbeat uh, wedding look. It's really fun for the offbeat bride who's looking to mix up the traditional manicure. I've got two coats down of Orly's Winter Wonderland. I think that's a 2012 polish, but I can't remember. Either way, it's a super awesome polish. Definitely one of my favorites. Uh, I use a third coat to um, kind of work as the bonder or adhesive for the, uh, the pearl rhinestones are they rhinestones if they're pearl finish mm, not really sure anyways so the pearls are being adhered to the nail mostly by a fresh um, thick coat of the white polish uh, first things first I'm putting the larger pearls on I've got um, a theory in my head where you could put the big stuff on first and then all the little things kind of fall into place afterwards so that's kind of uh, kind of the direction I go in you can kind of see the different size options. Um, it looks like there's a lot in there, but there's actually probably only like, I'd say maybe four different sizes. It's just a wheel that I got on eBay ages ago and have been meaning to use. Um, again, you don't need a rhinestone tool um, per se. I'm using a dotting tool tip um, dipped in Oh, the tip is dipped in <laughs> um, some clear polish and that is what kind of makes it tacky and easy to pick up and equally um, kind of let go of the, the pearls while you're trying to make this look. So I'm just kind of going with that route. Uh, I start from the bottom and work my way up because sometimes I got, you know, like, like well, maybe not right this second, but if you look at it, it could make for a really cool um, kind of gradient look if you think about it and you had all the, you know, if you had nice long nails and the the bulk of the pearls were towards the bottom, that could be a different look in itself and still be pretty cool. But today I'm going for a full coverage of the nail. And you can just kind of see um, here the different options for sizes and stuff. I'm just going to get a slightly smaller um, size pearl and put some finishing touches on but really I mean this look is pretty simple all things considered and at the end it just needs to dry as is and then do a top coat or two of just a clear um, one of your more liquidy or runny um, clear coats and it's good to go um, it would definitely make it a day but like I said in my other videos the more 3d stuff and more layers I have on my nails it seems like those will last longer I don't don't know why that is maybe there's just more protection or I'm being maybe a little bit more careful with my nails but yeah I, I think this would be great for a wedding and could easily go into honeymoon um, honeymoon time without having to have your nails touched up too much I hope this look inspires you um, to try something different with your wedding nails. If you've already gotten married and done all that stuff, let me know if you would try something a little bit more untraditional with your um, with your nails if you were to do it over again. Um, is doing a funky nail art look something that you would do? No? Maybe? Yes? Um, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, also, if you are doing your own nail art, let me see. I want to see. So uh, show me on my Facebook page. I'll toss the link down below. But I love, love, love seeing um, photos and blog links. Um, you could tweet at me, whatever you want. I'll post some details down below on how to get in touch with me. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And as always, thanks so much for watching.